That's right, we're playing Pikmin on Happy Play... Happy Gaming Inc. Gosh. Ah. Uh, by far one of my favorite game series. Anyway, let's start off on file number one. Somewhere in the deep, dark corners of space, there's a light and a warning beacon. And of course, an asteroid. Or would you prefer an iceberg? Because this is the Titanic all over again. Well, that's going to be hard to clean up. The impact site. Or the site of impact. Whichever you prefer. Oh my. My name is Captain Almar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out and I woke on the surface of a weird planet with so many parts lost. The skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors... Okay, the one part you had still was the atmospheric sensors. Anyway, those indicate that this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. Oh my. Oxygen. Poison. Ah. My life support system can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no, better not think about that. It must be... I must find the missing ship parts. Again, my failed reading skills. Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna walk around and, you know, find... Ooh, it's not shiny. I, I really shouldn't. Okay, let me talk to it. By far some of my favorite music in the game. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion, too. Just for a little bit of speeding up, it glows. Anyway, the seed that, sorry, so the seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it's calling to me. I'm compelled. I must approach it and press A. A. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature. Not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to a Pick Pick brand carrot I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try and grab it and throw it with A, and call it back to myself with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to C and X as well. So, yeah. Okay, wait, sorry. The following controls appear to me to allow me to view. Okay, this is camera controls. L is rotate the camera. Hold to follow the cursor. Hmm, I didn't know you could hold it. Wow, you learn something new every day by reading these things. R, zoom in and out. 
it's actually zoom out and then when you it just circles so if you zoom out all the way it zooms back in change angle z that gives you a top down perspective i must survive i need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings oh that's so cool oh my gosh i wish i knew this before okay anyway yeah most of the game the this okay I have 30 days to complete this game. 30 in-game games. This... Games? Yes, damsels in distress. Dames. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, I was supposed to read that. But, uh, so, moving on. Sorry, I have a natural tendency to skip through text box. Which you can do by mashing B. A lot. Anyway, I think it was just saying that you can bring Pikmin back. Those pellets called pellets um, and it gets you Pikmin anyway um, I have 30 in game days which is about um, I don't know the exact time I think it's around seven hours seven and a half hours um, each day is like like 13 and a half minutes I want to say I don't know the exact time but it's it's about 15 minutes so, um, uh, lost my train of thought. So anyway, this is day one. It's going to be a tutorial, basically. Actually, the first two days are going to be. Anyway, just uh, a little bit basics about this game. Y you basically just throw Pikmin around, and they're kind of your projectile weapon. Yep, spoilers. Um, anyway, we need ten Pikmin. Okay, the number on the top is what you need, the number on the bottom is how many Pikmin you have carrying it. Anyway, so we need 10 Pikmin to move this box out of the way. Um, let's see, I'm going to be growing Pikmin for most part of the day. And actually, um, if you guys watched my Sunshine Let's Play, I think I mentioned... Oops, none. Okay. Um, I mentioned shortening the episodes, and I'm going to do that. So, since each day is about like 15 minutes, I'm going to do just one day, uh, um, day per episode. Except for this episode, and there might be a couple episodes where I may do two, just because like, one day is just going to be basically cleaning up what I didn't do in the previous day. Um, but this day is going to be, or this episode, rather, is, um, I'm going to do two days, two end game days worth of play, just because this first day takes me like 10 minutes. And it's tutorial based and it's really boring. So this episode will be days one and two. Day one you need to collect 25 Pikmin total because that's the maximum you can get on day one. Minimum is 20 because of a certain thing but we're not gonna... okay. A Pikmin... the Pikmin are curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned about Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Okay, this is just... yeah. Tutorial stuff, as I said. Now, I throw... okay. Basically, a trick you can do when throwing Pikmin is... Seasick around... Okay. It's going to be kind of hard to show here. I'll probably show it more in the next in-game day. But, like, I can throw the Pikmin pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to do that carrying that out. Anyway, um... And that is because you can circle the Pikmin around you, and you throw a little bit quicker. Um... Not even a little bit quicker, like a real, like, it is a very big difference. Also, um, probably this being the first day I should make note, um, oh dang it. Okay, yeah, this is all tutorial stuff. Um, I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bright color. This is just, um, how you distinguish Pikmin that are in your group and not in your group. That, like, Pikmin that are in your group are going to be a deep red currently um but pigment that aren't in your group are going to be kind of pale so 
Okay. And something I don't need a tutorial to tell me, but already know, is if you rapidly press A when there are a bunch of Pikmin that need to be plucked, they will, um, you'll just automatically pluck them. So right now we have 20, I think we're gonna get a 5 pellet soon. Okay, um... Oh, there's 20. Yeah, okay. Also, um, I'm gonna be doing this game a little, like, pretty quickly. Um, oh wait, yeah. Anyway, um, I've been, I've actually, like, been starting to get an interest in speedrunning, so I watched my, one of my first I watched was Pikmin, and I've kind of gotten a little bit quick at it, so it may not be as enjoyable and, you know, full of, you know, just, like, I don't know, I might rush a bit through it. In fact, my goal is to complete this game better than a certain Let's Player who taught me base. Okay, not, you know, I watched his Let's Play and I learned a lot from it, so. I'm going to try and beat the game in 13 days or less. And I've. My best has been doing it in 13 days out of the 30, so yeah, it's going to be. Pretty quick. Anyway, so I've learned some tricks. Like, you can activate this cutscene quicker by running and throwing a Pikmin at it. At the uh, um, engine. Or what's what you call it? Amazing, there's no mistaking it. My ship's engine. Okay, yeah, the engine. Rest before me. Very, my very eyes, by a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But how will I get it back to the dolphin? Hmm, I wonder how. Also, Pikmin AI has been programmed, so if you see stick near um, something that can be carried, they'll automatically carry it. And if you release the Pikmin by pressing X, that's the release whistle. Um, which means they won't be in your group anymore. Um, they will automatically carry something that if they're in the vicinity of the area and all that fun stuff. Also, let's just get one thing qu straight. MLG mode, non-MLG mode. Basically, this is how most RTS games are. This is how Pikmin is. MLG, non-MLG. MLG, non. Okay. I said that days were 13 minutes. Um, I just said they were 13 minutes a couple minutes ago. This day is unlimited time, but uh, let's see. How quick did I get it done in? Probably like 10 minutes. I actually get it done in about 10 minutes. Uh, we're at 13 minutes, but that's because I had to explain a bunch of stuff. Oh, Glorious, with the help of the Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. Well, it ha has become of the remaining parts. That search starts tomorrow because I'm lazy. So that tutorial day was unlimited time, and once you get the engine back, it forces the day to end. Meaning, get all 25 Pikmin before you start the day, just so, you know, you get 5 Pikmin. Anyway, this day, yeah, this episode's gonna be about 30 minutes, but... Forget it. We're doing two days since this episode, or since this day was tutorial stuff. The next day is going to be still a bit tutorial stuff, but you know. Okay. One day since impact. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for another reason? Either way, it seems they'll help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hockaday. Analysis shows my life support system functions for 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such short time? Yeah, short time. I beat this game in 13. <laughs> anyway, we're heading to the Force of Hope tomorrow. And here's your stats. Um, sprouted 25 Pikmin for a total of 25 sprouts. Lost in battle... 
Yeah, Pikmin are, may die. Wait, no, no. Correction. Me playing this game, Pikmin will die. Left behind. Okay. Yeah, um... You can go all Nicholas, Nicholas Cage or whoever actually writes the book on the Pikmin and leave them behind, unattended, basically unattended and outside of base. Unattended or outside. No, unattended, outside of base. Basically. And if they're left and the day ends, they just die. You know, the, the creatures of the night eat them for breakfast. Or dinner. Well, they're nocturnal, so it would be breakfast. Yeah, they, they get eaten for breakfast, basically. Anyway. The Forest of Hope. And some of the best music, by far. Okay, this is just going to tell us that the- Oh look, the onion has come with us. The dolphin has returned to the surface along with Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand by and make the light, and blah 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 blah. Okay, sorry, I I'm not entertained with all this tutorial stuff. Get all 25 Pikmin out. There's a wall here. Pikmin can break down these walls, too. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you how fast it's going to go, so, um, oh wait, that was useless. Oh, actually that helped. Um, I'm going to get 24 on, and I'm going to get this guy to get me three more Pikmin. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, um, for the most part, the, the number on the pellet, see that's a one pellet. For the most part, they give you the Pikmin, the number of Pikmin written on them. Um, so long as it's, they go to the correct color. See, this is a yellow pellet. If it goes to the onion, it's going to give a one, um, one Pikmin, but a red pellet gives the red Pikmin, um, two sprouts. Um, that's the only time where it actually doubles. For the most part, it just gives face value. Um, and if it goes to, uh, okay, spoiler alerts. Guys, this game has been out for, like, over 10 years, you, not so much in Super Smash Brothers. There are different kind of Pikmin. So if a red pellet goes to say a yellow, um, yellow, sorry, I just want to pause while I finish my thought real quick. A yellow onion, um, it will give less than face value. Anyway, today is going to be a lot of Pikmin growth. Oh, dang it. Did I lose any? Uh, I don't know if I did. Okay. Those are uh, dwarf bulwarbs. They're kind of the most common enemy in the game. There we go. They're pretty easy. If you throw Pikmin on top of them, they get Goomba stomped. And, you know, they're pretty easy to kill. Non MLG mode. Just for all you who are wondering. Okay, so Pikmin throwing speed is determined based on how close the Pikmin are to you, but if they, if you circle them around, you, you can actually throw much, much quicker. I don't do it as fast as pros do it, but um, I'm okay with my speed right now. Um, where's the one Pikmin that got off? See, also, Pikmin have a maximum carrying amount. They have a minimum and max. The minimum is obviously the top, the numerator of that fraction. Yep, those of you who hate fractions, you're gonna love Pikmin. But yeah, it's the numerator of the fraction is the minimum. And then maximum, they don't show you the maximum, but it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's about double for the most part, I think. Um, I'm going to grab all these Pikmin real quick, and then I'm actually going to do something else for the day. Actually, I could probably do something else real quick. Um, no, I'm going to do the first thing I thought about doing. Okay, get all 51 Pikmin. Oh, wow, there's an alien joke in there somewhere. Um, what is it? Area 51? Is that a thing? I oh, know that was a movie. That was that one movie made by... Oh, gosh, who made that movie? I don't even remember. It was with, um, Dwayne Johnson. Anyway. The Pikmin are going to start picking grass that looks like this. And stuff is going to come out of it. Yellow liquid. Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass 
produces a sort of yellow nectar. When the Pikmin drink this del delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. Okay, yeah, um, Pikmin have kind of a stage of their strength. It's a leaf, bud, and flower. Anyway, this is a basically a jump to the flower stage. This apparent Pikmin favorite. You guys can read the rest. This makes them stronger in battle, um, quicker, and Pikmin have a tendency to trip, and I'm not quite sure if flowers actually help that or not. I can't remember, but most important to me is that they're better in battle. Now this guy is a little bit bigger than those dwarf bulbs. We he can't get Goomba stopped. He gets attacked by basically swarming the Pikmin around his legs. Again, I strongly, strongly suggest using flowers. Um, just always, because... I mean, he went down pretty easy, you saw. But... They don't always go down that easy. 15 is a good number. Um, a lot of the time, if you're using leaves, you need, like... I think if you're using flowers, you could use about 30 to kill them. Leaves, I would recommend, like, 50 to 60. So, like, leaves are... Almost needed in this game. Goomba Stomp! Oh, I miss it! Goomba Stomp! There we go. Um, oh, it's, uh, I'm gonna get more Pikmin. Carry these guys back. Okay, come on! Okay, there we go. Um, five, I'm only gonna be able to carry one of these back. Might as well put all the Pikmin I can on it. Actually, I'm only one off. I can snatch one from that bridge, or not the bridge, um... Over there is another ship part, which we will be getting later in the day. I can snatch one off this wall, the Bramble Wall. I call it Bramble Wall, some people call it, um... a wood wall. I, I just like, I think Bramble sounds better. Not to mention, hey Brambles! I know you'll be watching this, you always do. Um... So yeah, shout out to Brambles for being a wall in this game. Also, if Pikmin are close enough to the sleeping Bulborb, um, did I say Pikmin? I meant Spidey Bulborb. And their cry, their death cry, um, can sometimes wake up the Bulborb. For the most part, only contact can. And if you're like just like really close up on it, which, you know, is kind of contact, it re really is the only few things that can wake it, so. Just be careful around it. Come on. Okay, that was bad. Oh, you don't want to go down, sir, do you? Thank you. My gosh. Thank you, Pikmin Counter. Okay. Oh, um... Convenience sake. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, um, let's see. I think that one requires, yeah, it requires 40. Okay, it's noon. Oh, I'm skipping all this text that I wanted to read when I actually let's play it. Okay. Anyway, that's just saying it's noon. I, I only have a limited amount of time, so get your butt going and do stuff. Okay. Not MLG. That's going to get back to base. That is the... Whatchamacallit? I'll figure it out when I get there. Usually if... It saves time if you don't actually just walk up to it and, um... Get the name, because, like, it's not necessary. But, anyway. Favorite song in the game. Well, one of them, anyway. Here's the yellow onion. And it's not going to tell me... Oh, look, another onion. It's just going to say... Oh, wait. There we go. Um... Well, you're an interesting elf Pikmin. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than others. In, 
In what other ways might it differ from red Pikmin? No matter, they are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. Yep, this is a yellow Pikmin. They fly higher, they can be thrown higher, and they can do something else that I will show in a minute. It's only noon. This is actually really good time for what for my usual. Um, mo the rest of this day is probably going to be yellow Pikmin growth. Eternal Fuel Dynamo. This should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered two of 30 ship parts. If I can find three more, it should increase my ship's capabilities. That's saying, if I get three more, I can um, go into a new area of this world. Okay, so first things first, now that everyone's... Okay, I uh, get the dwarf bull board. I don't know if I've ever called, actually named these yet, but there are dwarf bull burbs and spotty bull burbs. Dwarf, obviously the smaller ones, spotty, obviously the big ones. Also, I like the little noises. The helping, helping, that's all. I always think they're saying that. In fact, I think that might be an intentional. I wouldn't be surprised if that was intentional. Then again, this game is made over in Japan, so the likelihood of them speaking English, saying helping, 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 is doubtful, but you know, I, I, it still would be fun. Funny and cool. Okay, that's just gonna give me two yellows. I have 10, therefore I can carry back this guy. For the most part, you don't need too many yellows. So this is probably going to be one of maybe two times I'm actually going to sprout yellows. Just because, you know, I need them. <laughs> Simply put. Okay. Here's another function of yellows. And actually, for now, I'm going to leave those guys planted. Um, real quick. If they're... I'm sorry, guys, I'm pausing so much. It's just so I can save time. But, um... Another thing about uh, Pikmin, if they're sprout, if they're planted in the ground, they can't be eaten. And if you leave them behind, then you know they're they're good. They, they won't be eaten at all. Can't die. Okay, now time for a cutscene. Also, th I find it weird that this one, this cutscene actually keeps the same music and doesn't have its own music. Anyway, the yellow Pikmin have picked up a peculiar stone. So, but I, uh, why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to yellow Pikmin. But just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there is some tremendous power locked away within this merit's f further research. These are bombs. Bomb rocks, to be specific. They are the only way to blow up those stone walls. But they can also, um, oh, Stonewall Jackson. Ha ha ha. I didn't even mean to make that joke. Um, anyway. Um, they can take down Bramble Walls quicker, but, you know, I don't like to do it just because bombs are... Anyway. Um, these light... Sorry, guys. These light gray ones require three to blow up, I believe. Oh. The glowing rocks of the the glowing rocks of the yellow have been picked up. Oh my gosh, this is like some sort of tongue twister. Seems to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them. But they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pot bad blah, 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 pathways. I may even be able to use them against some wild creatures. Yeah, I must be vigilant. Pressing X, yeah, keep clear of the explosion, which I didn't do. I think one of them actually died. Yeah, two died. Oh, dang. Oh, no, uh, there, okay. I, I thought I had to. There was some more that need to get down. Um, okay. I still need a couple more bombs for what something else I'm going to do. Yeah, that was really bad on my part. Okay, I'm going to use my new trick and hold down the yell button so the camera follows me. I didn't even know you could do that. Like... How did I not know you could do that? This just teaches you a lesson, kids. Always read the tutorials, even though you you think you're too good for them. Okay, I have 11 bombs. This is a darker gray one. It requires six. There we go. 
bombs to blow it up. Oh my gosh. I need to just stop throwing too many Pikmin at it. I just lost another one. Okay, um, one last thing we're going to do today is grab the reds. Anyway, um, basically Pikmin... Pikmin AI, when, when a yellow Pikmin is thrown at a wall or something that th it can interact the bombs with, it will throw the bomb at it, but if thrown, if um, thrown with bomb in hand and there's nothing around it, it'll just sit there, the yellow Pikmin will just sit there, but um, when whistled, it will drop the bomb and it will immediately detonate. Not immediately, but the timer will go down. Okay, is, oh, the shock absorber. This apparatus con counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's smoothly sailing. It's smooth sailing with this place. In this place, usually. Okay. See, there's another bulb over here. Um, anyway. Pikmin also can't swim. Except for certain species of Pikmin, which we'll get into later. Okay, ooh, that was close. Don't want to actually get him to start the fight so soon. Okay, oh, that wasn't on the side. That could be bad. Oh, that's bad. That's that's bad. Oh, man. Sometimes I'm really bad at this game. Okay, I, I just have enough. And I can get the ship part back, hopefully. Okay, I'll get the bulboard back, and I can get the ship part back. Anyway, so what you want to do right there is throw the Pikmin up on the ledge and then walk as Olimar through this little area around so you can get the um, ship part and the Pikmin back up. Anyway... Usually I try and clear because there's like a there's a dwarf and a regular bulb orb over there and I like to clear them out on this day. Actually I could probably get it with yellows since it's just a Goomba stomp. There we go. I'm not going to deal with the other one, just because I just don't want to. It, it. Oh, that's the ship. I'm like, what's making that noise? Okay, how do I have just random... Okay, um, you... I'm getting random changes in Pikmin, and I just lost someone somewhere. I've made yet another Pikmin-related discovery just when... It... We were about to hit 100 Pikmin on the field. The enemy stopped exploding seeds. Yet the number continued to climb. Okay, this is saying that only 100 Pikmin can be on field at once. If you just so happen to grow Pikmin, um, fear not, they will. What? Fear. Anyway, fear. Oh no, what happened here? Okay, I forget it. Oh wait, I have plenty of time. I have eight. Those aren't even real seconds, too. Um, anyway, fear not, you'll still get your Pikmin, they'll just be in the end. As I may have said it earlier, only a hundred Pikmin can be on- Oh my gosh, why are you guys so stupid? Only a hundred Pikmin can be on field at once. Yes, I got it! Um, they're still in base, so even though they're, um, okay. Let me finish one thought at a time. Okay. Only 100 Pikmin can be on the field at once. If you s happen to sprout more, they just go harvest in the onion. Secondly, Pikmin that are in, you know, the vicinity of base, you know, it's, there's like probably an imaginary wa wall around base. So if they're in that and they're not um, in your group, they still are um, saved if night comes. Shock Absorber. This nifty little device counteracts the shaking and swaying. Okay. Two more ship parts, and it'll increase my capabilities. Wow, just in time. Just in time. Anyway, this is definitely longer a longer episode. But I promise next episodes will be shorter and probably more entertaining. But we're not going to end the episode off just yet. We're actually going to wait and, you know, watch all the fun stuff that happens after each day. Two days since impact. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I'm going to yawn. 
Oh yeah, that used to be my thing. All right. Um, it appears that many of my ship parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the part of my radar, it should give me a screen, and then Y will locate them all. Yet, there seems to be many hostile life forms here that attacked in my spacesuit takes damage. And, okay, that's saying, you, as a captain, can get damaged to the point where... Uh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry for all these pauses and stuff. But, um, you can be damaged to the point where you basically end the day if you die. And, not good. Not good at all. But if you stand in the radar where, not the radar, but, you know, the little laser that the ship puts out where you collect the ship parts, that will refill your health. So, there's that. Nine Pikmin lost in battle compared with the 89 that sprouted. <coughs> that's 50 red Pikmin. That's going to be bad. You, I, I usually try and get about 100 red Pikmin, usually for the entire game. Or I usually try and maintain that number. Anyway, flying around in circles. I will see you guys next time for another episode of Happy Plays Pikmin. You guys should, and completely optional, but you know, you guys can like, comment, subscribe if you want to. It is completely optional, of course, but if you want to support the channel, please like and comment, and. I mean, like and subscribe, and comments, you know, with something, I don't know, just say something, share your thoughts, comment on, you know, share your comments. And I'll see you guys next time, where we'll be entering the Forest of Hope again, to get, basically, clean it up. Well, not clean it up completely, but, you know, get a lot of parts. Anyway, also, um, one quick last thing that I want to mention, those stars are the ship parts, obviously parts in the area. We have two, four, six more to collect. We will be collecting three in the next episode. So.